Hey, this is the third and probably the last video of this minimap short playlist. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add moving elements such as this helicopter and how to associate it with an animated symbol on the minimap. So, this is where we left off the project in the previous video. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'll start with a couple global variables that hold references to the model in the animation mixer so we can animate it and make it follow a given path. We got our model, now time to make it move. To do that, I'll just use a technique that I made a tutorial on, so make sure you check it out. By the way, I got asked about how I choose the points of the path or at least make the process easier and the answer is simply by using the Raycaster. So since I'm already using it to make towers, I'm also going to use it to lock the position in which I want to make a path point. Now back to the curve and the rest of the path movement stuff. Here you can skip adding the path to the scene in case you don't want it to be displayed and this won't make any difference on the object orientation and movement. And there we go. Notice though the helicopter follow the path exactly. If you want a more natural and realistic path following movement, you definitely have to watch this tutorial. And now time to create the animated radar symbol. To do that, I'm going to use a shader material on a circle mesh. The shader is explained in detail in this tutorial.
And here again I'm using layers to prevent the symbols from appearing on the main camera. Now to make the symbol follow exactly the location of the helicopter, I'll just make the mesh copy its position from the model's position in the animate function. And with that we are done with this tutorial, so make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.